Good evening. Thank you all for being here. We have evidently a very saxophone pit crew that we're trying to put together uh, to get all of our instruments ready. Uh, curiosity here, um, how many of you back in your middle school days played a musical instrument, show of hands, parents, family, and curious hands down, thank you for following directions, how many of those same hands, the instrument you played is actually upstage tonight, it's the same instrument. Just wondering, we have a saxophone that was about three generations. Thank you for being here, that was my stall. Just telling you this, she's leaving me again. I don't really have any more stalling material. Ms. Chung, we're at the concert. It's 7.04, Ms. Chung. That's a little awkward. Can I introduce you, Ms. Chung? So, thank you for being here and led by the fabulous and Quick moving, Jenny Chung. Uh, we have a lot of talent to display to all of you this evening. So let's get it going. Round of applause for Miss Jenny Chung. Hello. I apologize. For the slight yeah. delay. Uh, I care about your students' health, and I did not want two individuals to swap terms. <laughs> and I was trying to make a repair, so. Um, normally I do not like speaking before playing music, but the history behind our, behind our first piece, which is titled Gettysburg, uh, is rich and very important. So Gettysburg, written by Brian Balmages, is arguably the most important battle of the U.S. Civil War. It was the bloodiest battle of the war and marked a significant turning point. Robert E. Lee, so, I guess bad guy, but not really, had planned to invade the North and force an end to the war. However, the Confederates were unsuccessful in this endeavor, and following the Battle of Gettysburg, all subsequent battles of the Civil War were fought in the South. Now in this piece, Balmay just strives to capture the essence and sounds of this battle. Uh, keep your ears out for a section of free expression or aleatoric sounds in which the band simulates the sounds of the booms and bangs of warfare, including the whiz of cannonballs and bullets. Thanks.
This exciting work paints a vivid portrait of a moonlit night just before the Ghost Riders come out of the shadows. A large battery of percussion adds depth, and Woodwinds perform some aleatoric passages to create tension and suspense. And then he unnecessarily adds, THRILLING! Thank you. 
which is apparently a traditional Norwegian stringed instrument. So this piece is all about Norway. So all together the music expresses pride in the beauty, culture, and history of the Valdres region in Norway.
while the percussion is setting up, uh, I would like to give special credit to Brogan Smith for these program notes. He asked the other day, Ms. Chunk, what is an amber moon? And I was like, I don't know. So I looked it up. Amber moons are beautiful, rare, full moons that occur when the sun is directed opposite the moon. This positioning causes this particular full moon to have a honey or amber color. So that is an amber moon. Also, I have the great privilege of introducing two soloists, Lizzie Davis on flute and Mason Pease on trumpet. I would say I'm proud of them, but it's really not my doing that they're so great. So those are our soloists that you will hear tonight.
play our last turn of free band piece, I wanted to take a moment to recognize a special individual. So Jason Randazzo has made a generous donation to the Noble Middle School Bands. And if he's here, would he please stand and receive some applause, uh, gratitude from both me and everyone else for your donation. Thank you, Jason, so much.
Can we please have a round of applause? Seventh and sixth and Jazz and Miss Chung.